I said I'll pay your monkey ass when I feel like it. Shh. Better suck my dick. Hi. How's it going? I'm Dr. Sherman Oaks. Trife Life Coach, Trife Psychiatrist, MD. My dick, nigga. Say, let me ask you a question. Having relationship problems? Problems at the office? Didn't get that promotion that you think you deserved? Or the one you thought you earned? Or just feeling depressed about life in general? Come on down, schedule an appointment with me, and we'll get to the bottom of this. I'm not just a... I may be a psychiatrist and a life coach, but I'm also a trife coach. My clientele ranges everywhere from the country club all the way down to the county jail. No issue too small, no problem too big. Now I'm not saying I'm a miracle worker, and I'm not saying that, you know, every problem will be fixed in a day, but I'm confident that if you follow my easy steps and get a consultation with me, there's no mountain we can't climb. So, whenever you get a chance, whenever you put that bum ass controller down, whenever you put that dirty ass swag weed blunt down, just call me, pick up the phone, schedule an appointment with me, Sherman Oaks. 908 I M T R I F E. Again, for you non spelling motherfuckers, that's 908 I'm Trife. Have a nice day. Okay, now what the fuck you want? Yes, come in. How you doing, Dr. Oaks? Martin, right? Yes. Very nice to meet you. How's it going? Um, not so good, man. Alright, well, sorry to hear that, man. Just, you know. Relax, you know, take a load off. Sure. Yeah. I can stretch out here. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. This is, this is a safe place, you know. I want you to get comfortable. So, uh, how's everything going? Tell me what's on your mind. I mean, I'm having, I don't want to say marital, but uh, relationship issues. Okay. It's, it's kind of all on me because I can't. I could be real with you, right? Absolutely. This is a safe place. I I, I can't stop cheating on my girlfriend. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why. I I love her. I honestly love her. But I need more than just one pussy. To right. put in layman terms. Right. Absolutely. Well, to be honest with you, um. Well, you know, before I, I, I talk about that, how long have you and your girlfriend been together? Ten years. Ten years, wow, okay. Cheated on all ten. All ten. Okay. And, uh, would you say besides the cheating, uh, do you guys have any other problems besides that? I mean, you know, every relationship's run its course and we have our itty bitch, itty bit, itty bit of issues every right. now and then, but... Mm -hmm. We, we, we get through it. Okay. Well, you know, I'll be honest with you. There's, you know, there's a few points I want to uh, bring to your attention. Number one, cheating, it happens. Every real nigga does it. Don't feel bad about it, all right? If I can be honest with you, it might just be all on her and not you. I don't think you were doing anything wrong. That's number one. Number two, ten years. Ten years is a pretty long time. And for you to be with her 10 years, and her not to introduce another bitch into the mix, she's just inviting trouble on her own self, man. So... You might be right there, Doc. I don't really think you're doing anything wrong. You know, if your girlfriend is open to it, I think we should bring her in for counseling, you know? Uh, kind of like a group thing, you know, just go over, you know, the pros and cons of the relationship. Kind of really kind of zero in on, you know, what the fuck is her problem, you know? So, should I continue with the cheating, meanwhile? I'll be honest with you, I would, um, you know, until she gets her shit together and until, you know, she figures out if this is what she really wants, um, I don't really think you're doing anything wrong here, to be honest. Seems like some pretty sound advice. Absolutely. You see, it's not your fault that you're cheating. You know, you're a man. You're a guy. It's, it's our instinct to be, you know, hunters, hunter-gatherers, just go after things like that. Pussy's no exception, you know? A lot of times, men, we don't really think with our emotions. They think with our dicks, you know? So, your girlfriend really can't be that mad at you, you know, if women are throwing it at you. It's a natural instinct to go after it. I mean, honestly, Doc, she can't be mad because she doesn't know, but... Absolutely. It's just an internal issue I have. Right, right. It's well. I want to say this, you're a good guy, you know, obviously for contemplating it and, you know, for having it in the back of your mind. 
But I would say there's uh, there's nothing for you to worry about. Well, that seems like some good advice there. Yeah. I know you charge by the hour, so I think I'll get my ass out of here. Absolutely. And if you know you have any other questions, you know you want to talk, here's my card. All right. Thanks, sir. Yes, come in. Hey, doctor. Yes, how's it going? Ian, correct? No, Ian. Ian Shent. Okay. All right. Ian, take a seat. Very nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Here. All right. You have uh, trouble finding the place? Oh, no, no, no. I don't mind. I'm not quest. Okay, great, great. All right. So, uh, Ian, why don't you tell me what's going on? Why, uh, what do I owe this visit to? I haven't worked. I haven't worked problems. Uh, I've been working there for 10 years. 10 I've, years? Wow. Yeah, I have a new manager. And uh, she just, just turned herself on to me every day. Okay. Like she grabbed my dick at the water cooler. Okay. Uh, sent me emails with a pussy for strawberries in it right in her office. No kidding. Yeah, like setting up um, meetings, just us, and just like showing me her titties the whole time. I don't know what to do. Like, I just want to work. I don't know what am I supposed to do. What do you, what would you do? What do you think I should do? Well, you know, the first thing I want to say to that is uh, congratulations. You're probably going to get a promotion within the next month. Hi. That's number one. Second, wow. um, you know, no homo, but I think you should send that bitch a dick pic back. Let's, that, that's just keeping it You want to even the playing field. You, you know what I mean? You think that's like Absolutely. pushing it at work? I'm sorry? You think that's pushing it too much at work? Hey, man, you know, she started it first. But you know what I mean? When you send that pic, the message you're sending is you're going to finish it. I have a friend, uh, he recommended the same thing. He said, I should friend send sounds her, like a smart guy. Send her an email and say, Are you trying to fuck? Well, I don't know if that's, you know, work related. You know, I have to do that at work. Oh, no, no. First off, I don't, I don't agree with that. Uh, you know, this is professional. You know, yeah, if you want to reach a subject, you want to do it in a professional manner. What I would do is I would title the subject of the email with, uh, you know, the corresponding dick pic. I would say, uh, Are you trying to engage in intercourse, man? You know, you're at a professional level right now. I'm pretty sure you were soon tired of work. I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean, that bitch wears revealing stockings at work. You know what I mean? She got a, you know, her watermelons all out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Psst, man. First, can I shake your hand first? That's not a problem. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, man. No, thank you. You know, I got a secretary out there. I know you seen that bitch out there. You know? That bitch is bad. Bruh, it's old news. I did that like three, four, five times yeah. this week. This week. But anyway, back to you. Um... You definitely want to be careful with this because at the same time, you know, niggas gonna be niggas, but you know, you do work with the bitch, you know. Yeah, so she's my boss, so you know, I don't know what to do. You know, if I don't, she bitch gonna fire me. Tear that down, bro. You been first of all, you've been there ten years, all right? Ten years equals ten years, bro. Okay? And the smart thing that you should do to keep yourself smart, you wanna save all those emails, okay? Mm -hmm. You wanna save all those emails, you wanna get witnesses of that bitch flirting with you. So if she try to flip the script on that bitch, you flip it right back. Yeah. Flapjack that hoe. That before or after I put my dick in her mouth? I would say after. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, but make sure you got shit on file. You know how real niggas do. I think, I think I'm good now. Anything else? Anything else about work? No, nah, man. Shit was popping, man. Oh, all right. Thank well, you, sir. So glad I could help, man. No problem. Call my, call my nigga. I'll holler at you. All right. Getting paid, getting paid. Yes, come in. How you doing, doctor? How's it going, Ken? Yeah, Kevin. Yeah. How you doing? I'm about as good as can be, man. I don't know, man. Just oh, okay. Things not going good right now, man. Yeah. Well, get, well, get comfortable and let's talk about it. Okay, so, uh, you know, if it's okay with you, I'd like for you to discuss uh, the, the attempts that you made to take your own life. Yeah, man, just, I tried everything, man. I tried to go in the garage in the car, let that bitch burn, you know. I fell asleep, nigga woke up hungry, you know, ran through the refrigerator, nothing, still alive. Nigga tried to jump off a fucking uh, uh, building and shit. I ain't see the balcony there and shit. You know, nigga fell on the balcony two feet away. You know, I was like, fuck it. No kidding. You know, was, and nigga tried to take some pills and shit, you know, some potions or whatever like that. Nigga, nigga just was chilling watching Discovery Channel, bro. Ain't none of that shit work, man. Okay. You don't mind me asking, uh, what do your friends and family have to say about this? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, they have some idea about the, the, the depression you're going through. Man, either they don't know, don't show, or don't care what's going on in the other, man. Okay. Um, but what about you, though? 
What are they? Do they not care about you or? Nah, man, nobody cares, man. You know, I'll be on Facebook, I do my little rants and shit. You know, I type a paragraph and shit, niggas scroll by it. You yeah. know, it's just the same shit. I give niggas little hints, like, you know, you're here today, go tomorrow. You know, niggas, niggas are like, ah, yeah, you a funny nigga, man. Or whatever like that. And, and they right, because I, I, I try to take myself out and I'm still here. Or whatever, man. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's a terrible ordeal, man. It's an ongoing cycle. All right. Well, um, from what I've heard so far, I've had to say, um, uh, you're completely within your means to want to kill yourself. Um, you sound like a fucking loser. It seems as though, uh, you don't really have any friends. Uh, if I saw you ranting on Facebook or Instagram, I'd probably tell you to kill yourself too. Um, all these attempts, how the fuck do you not know there's a balcony over, a, you know, outside well, of a building? Listen, listen, man. You know? When, when, when you kill some E and J, and you go on top of the building, and you jump, you don't look for the balcony on the 13th floor. You see, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Trill niggas don't drink E and J no more. That shit is so 2009. Yeah, maybe you're right, doctor. Maybe this, I'll try something different. This is what I'm going to do. How do you feel about knives? You know, I, I, I use them every once in a while to cut my salad. What's up? Okay. All right, well... I say, since you haven't talked about that method, you might want to try that method of, you know, killing yourself. What you mean, like, like? Slitting your wrist, bro. Yeah, sl absolutely. Slitting my wrist? Either slitting your wrist or, you know, going on a trampoline with a sharp pair of scissors. Whichever one works. You know, if you learn to go out, go out with a bang or go out with having fun. What you, what you mean, like, put on a trampoline and, like, jump around it? Until absolutely. You fall? Until you fall on the scissors. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to I'm pretty give you sure I'll survive that, too, but all right. Yeah. I'll try it. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to give you... Description. So when I cut my wrist, like how do do I cut my wrist? Do I do I cut it? Come on, man. Do I pass out? I can't tell you everything. I'm not your daddy, nigga. <coughs> you, you right, nigga. But you, nigga, try to help me out, right? Hey, man. You don't want me, don't want to see me again, right? Gotta, let's, let's guarantee that. Nigga. I gotta do, cause I charge by the hour. But I'm here to help. Here's a prescription right here. Listen, man, like, you my nigga, man. You really want me to take myself out, man. You know, hey, you know man. what I'm saying, man? You, you know what I'm saying? We need less, less, less black men in the community, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to make that happen. All right. Fuck out of nigga. <sighs> yeah, there ain't no hope for that, nigga.